Good morning and welcome to this week's Wednesday with Warbus. We're here at Altus High School to kind of give you an update of esports. We added esports last school year, kind of ended abruptly like everything else did, and so we're, we're rolling again this year. Uh, we've already been in some tournaments, so I'm here with John Wall. He's one of the coaches, as well as Zach Caffey. He's also one of the coaches here at esports. So, John, tell us about how many uh, ninth through 12th graders are involved in esports. Well, approximately right now we have probably enough on the Rocket League to have two teams, but COVID's made that kind of rough, so we have six Rocket League players, and then approximately on the Smash Brothers side, we have a nine team, or nine people on the team, and then some others that fill in for all. For alternate, okay, so we're playing two games still, and that's Rocket League and Smash Brothers, yes. and we're looking at possibly adding another game next school next year, year. Yes, give an opportunity for our kids to get scholarships. Tell us the process on how the kids made the team, the tryouts. Well, um, we offered a couple of open house days and see who was interested. And then once we figured out actually who was truly interested in playing, we basically had them play each other. And Zach and I evaluated them. And he did the Smash side and I did the Rocket League side. And his way of doing the Smash Brothers, I mean, I basically made them turn them into each other. Okay. And then kind of got them to switch up on teams and see which team is the best. That's all right. Uh, and how often do you practice? Okay. Just like any other sport, I'm sure you practice. Yes, we do. We uh, practice at least twice a week. That would be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, usually from about 3 to about 5 o'clock. We're supposed to start at 3.30, but we always do it about 3. And, uh, yeah. And sometimes we have Saturday tournaments as well. I was thinking Saturday. So how many tournaments have y'all played? How have you been doing? And tell us some of the teams that are possibly in our, our league. Sure. Uh, for right now, we uh, have only had Rocket League tournaments. We're working on the Smash tournaments. Hopefully that'll be coming here soon. Uh, for right now, we've been in approximately three tournaments, I believe. Three tournaments. One was canceled yes. due to COVID, the, the December tournament. Uh, yes, unfortunately, we were uh, we lost one on there, but um, with the kids been playing real hard as far as the tournaments go. Unfortunately, we haven't placed first yet, but we're gonna get there. All right, we've done fourth twice. We've gotten better, mm -hmm. better first year at or second year at, I guess, but we're getting better. Yeah, the first year of actually playing other schools. Other schools, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, I know you've been up here putting a lot of work into the to the room. Yeah. Uh, you started on it last year, you got it looking great last year, but you've added some additions this year. So mm -hmm. tell us about some of the stuff you've added to make it. Well, Zach did the wiring and the wiring design, and he's done a great job on it, and plus the programming to the uh, the lighting system in there. And, so tell us about that. What, yeah, sure. What's that all entail? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, of course, I went ahead and like a lot of different uh I guess gaming setups, a lot of people will actually hide the wires behind your TVs, behind your uh, entertainment system and all that. I chose a different approach. I decided that I wanted to go ahead and actually put all the wiring out for display, but make it pretty. Um, I also put LEDs behind all the TVs, that way the uh, contrast between the screen and the wall is a little bit better. It's better for eyesight, they say, as well as... Um, I have uh, also, of course, like Mr. Wall was saying, I've implemented a program to work the lights. I have it adjusted to uh, different colors and stuff like that. That way they're able to actually, uh, it just creates a really nice ambiance in there, so yeah. to speak. Yeah, I think it's great. And if, I don't know if you can hear, but the kids are having a ball in there. They're actually having a, a uh, scrimmage against yeah. Canute, and they're having fun. Hopefully we're winning. Um, so tell us... We've still got some more tournaments coming this season. Yes. And then, we have one regular season tournament, then we go into the, the finals for the... To the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then uh, next year, you're looking at maybe doing a different league, so we'll be in be with a conference with schools our size, maybe? Yes, we'll be talking about uh, the, the Oklahoma Esports League, which our division has Lawton Mack, Lawton Eisenhower, Edmund, so we're going to be playing larger schools. Awesome. But we'll still be in the Southwest League as well. Right. So we'll have a Southwest League as well as an Oklahoma mm -hmm. Conference League. Yes. Hi. Uh, my name is Grant Keller. I'm a freshman. Uh, I really like esports because it's a great dynamic. Uh, I, a bunch of my friends are in here. It's a really good place just to hang out. The tournaments are pretty fun. Hello, my name is Luke Carew. I'm a senior here at the Altus High School, and I play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for the uh, esports team. 
So, whenever the Altus High School introduced their esports team last year, I got to see that esports in and of itself was a massive new opportunity that even a lot of colleges were starting to offer. So, as a junior then and a senior now, um, I've sort of had an interest sparked in being able to play Super Smash Bros. competitively for not only here at the high school, but also at the college. And so from getting experience to play on the team here, I actually went on to win a 42-person Baylor Invitational Tournament, which is the primary college that I'm looking at going to. So I think that having this esports club is just super awesome, and it gives a lot of kids who may not have passions in other sorts of traditional sports an opportunity to really compete and get to be in that sort of team environment that we really want to encourage here at Altus High School. Well, hopefully that kind of gives you a look behind the scenes of what esports is and how much it means to the kids that are involved. It's so exciting that Altus Public Schools is able to offer so many different opportunities for kids just to give them some options to do. And it's also exciting as administrator to see some teachers and support staff get involved in something that they're passionate about and share that with the kids. It's so exciting. Uh, we love doing new things and uh, love extending people's careers and let them do what they enjoy. And as always, may God continue to bless Altus Public Schools.